So, I had a uh, Israelite hit me up my emails, angry, mad, and you know, Israelites, they always, they always mad, but they're not really mad at the system of white supremacy, they're more mad about people not uh, following their Bible, they were mad at some of the things that I had to say in the uh, last video I did where I talked about fear, and uh, they were angry about that, and they told me, you know, black people are suffering from a curse, you I mean, you know the Hebrew, Hebrew Israelite uh, logic, we're suffering from a curse because we disobey God, therefore we're in this curse for 400 years, and you know, it should have been up by now, we, at some point y'all gonna have to make the Israelites deal with that, because... They said it was going to be 400 years and it's cursed and it's been more than that and it's still, we still fucked up. So, it's like, you know, y'all going to have to, y'all going to change your doctrine now? Are you going to still pump the bullshit and keep pushing the data out? Or will you just go with this no man shell, no fuckery, I mean, whatever the fuck to support your bullshit? But, uh, here, here's my counter. Because here's my logic as per this uh, uh, fantasy that has been created for black people. Because it's, it's all a fantasy. This is a bunch of, a bunch of made up fiction bullshit as to what black people are suffering from. And what I see black people are suffering from, and to me what our would be curse is, is that we are running from our fate. And we've been running from our fate for a long time. We have, they have knocked us off, uh, tried to knock us off our destiny uh, for a long time. And I, I alluded to this point in, in that uh, same video that I made, um, that our fate is to unify. That's black people's problem. That is the would be curse um, if they were going to deal in, in this, again, I'll be dealing in this terminology just for this video to make my point. The curse is that we are failing to unify practically. And the reason I say practically is because it's not any, you know, God or, or, or deity going to come push us together, force us to be in a room. This has to be a choice that we make. Is to unify. That has to become our only choice. Now, any Israelite can sit there and tell me about some curses and how the curse is being controlled by a deity because we are the chosen people and shit like that. But what I see us doing is the failure to unify and the uh, eagerness to be accepted by the lesser being, the recessive being. Now, if you look at this thing from the way I see it, what type of people what mindset must you be in to want to uh, be accepted by a lesser being? That says a lot about the slave that we've been taught to be. The slaves that we've been raised to be. Per the engineering, the social engineering, which is a lot of people leave out social engineering a lot. I don't see how we leave out this very very key component into our makeup we leave out social engineering which is basically going to be nature versus nurture this is a psychological argument if you study any psychology or even read up on some psychology then you heard of this uh these terms this verbiage social engineering nature versus nurture because we are in an unnatural situation and sadly enough, our parents and grandparents have raised us to conform to the unnatural situation that we're in. Our failure to unify is where we suffer, is how we're going to suffer. At the times where we do unify, we're too easily pushed off our square. It's too easy. They can come assassinate somebody and it's over the crowd dispersed that's what's happened to us if you study uh, would be black American history that's what's happened to us 
they're able to knock us down murder us brutalize us a little bit and then we'll go back to well well, we don't want to go through that we don't want that to be what happens to us so we'll fall in line that's no god putting no curse over anybody that's fear that's no deity doing that that's the white man and his mama knowing how to use fear against us that's what that is that's what that has been based on the research that I have done they ain't got nothing to do with no spirituality or religion this is our refusal our continuing to run from our fate continuing to run from our destiny which I would deem a divine destiny because again as the point I made we rebel and defy the white man by wanting to be where he is by fucking his women by fucking his uh, their men this is defiant to us this is how we get back I've heard people say this shit and this is what the psychology behind it is well this is how I get back at them is by fucking them I'm gonna fuck some white bitches this is how I get back at them no you stupid motherfucker the way you get back at them is by staying with yours that's what you ain't did that's what black folk ain't did stay with each other no matter what you stick together you unify that's what's defiant that's what's rebellious black man black woman black child fist up everybody that's defiant the methods that black people use to be defiant are flawed completely flawed you rebel by sticking together no matter where you are a point I already alluded to I don't care whether you're in a celebrity status or you at some job somewhere with some the, the company being racist against the black folk there y'all stick together that's the point now of course most of us 99% I'm gonna stand to this number are wanting to be the token nigga Wanting to get the, uh, the the acceptance, the pat on the head. Good boy, good girl. You did a good job. By sticking with me and looking at your people suffer from racism. Both overt racism and institutional racism. You did good. That's what we want. That's the would be curse. And it's based on social engineering. And the only way to undo a social engineer is to reverse engineer ourselves that's the only way it ain't got to do with praying worshiping God God don't give a fuck about no black people y'all God don't give a fuck about black folk I'm sorry it's very evident now the fact that he isn't there you know that's uh, another point but if the motherfucker's there just watching you suffer he don't give a fuck about you I'm sorry, Israelite. You the chosen people. We the chosen people. Tribe of Judah. I'm sorry. Your God don't care. Yahweh don't give a fuck. That's just how it is. Now that may make people mad. Because that's what people typically are going to be mad at me if I coming in and bang on their religion a little bit or whatever their belief system is I don't care we have to deal with this thing practically this is why again I speak about practical black consciousness this is a practical thing ain't no spiritual shit ain't no religious shit this is practical the thing that we are most reluctant to do the thing that's hardest for us to do that's what we gonna have to do not worshiping God or reading no damn Bibles or praying. No. That ain't hard. That's easy. The hard thing is unifying. That's what scares the system more than anything is us unifying. And stop being scared. That's social engineering. 
And the only way to reverse that is to make a couple decisions in your head. Practical, logical decisions. One, that fear doesn't mean anything. Two, that ain't nobody coming to fucking save you. And three, the thing that this government and this nation and this world is most afraid of, and it's been shown countless times, because at times when we even congregate in small groups, they don't like that. They want to come uh, 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 infiltrate uh, our meetings. What's the reason that they do that? They're not trying to infiltrate no damn church because the church is with them. They're trying to infiltrate no damn uh, religious uh, uh, meetings or groups. or not. They're not trying to infiltrate that unless those religions are causing unity. Like, say... Uh, the Nation of Islam at one point. Again, I'll I say with Malcolm X. I mean, because I, I don't really, I really don't fuck with the Nation at, at this point. And really at no point because of what what they allowed to happen to Malcolm X. And I got people that, from the Nation of Islam that gets mad at me for that. Or, or I, don't, I really don't give a fuck. Y'all sucking Allah dick or Farrakhan dick. And ain't nothing happening for black folk. Ain't nothing changing for black folk. At all. Because that's that unity under religion. Under, under a religious banner. And that's what we need to get away from putting these banners up over ourselves and failing to unify because of these banners. That's what I see us making that mistake countless amounts of times throughout history. This is the mistake that we make. And y'all still making it. And you think it's divine that you call yourself a Hebrew Israelite. It's divine that you it's divine to you that you don't put yourself in this group and call yourself God's chosen people. That's divine to you. The banner of uh, uh, the nation of Islam. The banner of even a Christian. These banners is a problem. Your FBA, your ADOS's banners. Pan African, a banner. We keep wanting to separate from each other based on banners, selected teams. Like we're not all suffering the same way. How can you not see this logically? Now again, I know some of you have been indoctrinated so much due to this Bible and due to religious factions. But you should be able to see this thing logically. The hard thing. That's what we're going to have to do. That's our only option. And I don't give a fuck who gets mad about that. I don't give a fuck about you sending me your emails talking about your goddamn Yahweh and your your tribes and lost tribes and what, what the curse and all that. I'm not listening to that fucking bullshit. We are a slave to our own minds at this point. Because we don't believe in ourselves. We don't believe in the power that we have. The power in our togetherness. We don't believe in that shit. We believe in everything else but that. How is that? You believe in a motherfucker you can't see, but you don't believe in unity amongst your people. You've seen what unity amongst your people causes this whole nation to do. It turns this nation upside down when black people stand together. And you can see that from a very practical standpoint, just studying the history. How could you continue to ignore that? That's what you don't want to do. No, the black man and woman want to sit around and fight all day about whose fucking fault it is. You think they, they that ain't causing no problems? Y'all disrespecting each other every fucking day? Talking about what you ain't doing, what you can't do, and all this shit based on the sex, the sex of you, or whatever sex you are, be it a man or woman. They don't give a fuck about that. That don't scare them. They want you niggas to sit around and fight like fucking idiots all day every day. That don't cause no problem. That ain't getting no fucking media coverage or anything. They don't even care about that. That's business as usual. And if you're suffering from any curse, that's what it is. That y'all want to fight, argue, and debate all day, all while suffering the same motherfucking fate. How? This is Black Post's problem, and this is what I'm going to be screaming from the goddamn mountaintops. And again, I don't care if you disagree. I don't care about that. I'm not here to debate on you disagreeing. I don't care about that. I know what we must do. I've seen when we've been our most effective. And that's practical. Together. Now, of course, you got to filter out these goddamn self-hating ass coons. 
because they'll just be used as tools and we as we continue to see uh, these people used as tools on the media on social media these mentalities being used against black people as our talking heads big thing about to be voting again when we don't understand that it's the hardest thing that we have to do to me it should be very logical at this point we want to shake this world up then we do it together we can't do it fighting we can't do it with y'all fucking debating all the goddamn time either what is there to debate you're suffering at the hands of the white man and his mama and the system that they have built very intricately to stop you on every level what is there to debate Now, of course, black people are our biggest enemies at times. Some of our behaviors and actions makes us our biggest enemies. Whether it be murdering somebody because of a fucking t-shirt color they have on or a corner that you claim is yours. Meanwhile, the white man or the non-white man, not you though, non-black uh, man or woman owns that corner, owns that block. Black man and woman fighting every day all over social media we do stupid shit to defeat ourselves but you know this is what must be done y'all this is what must be done we have to teach our kids another way I know y'all don't take this parenting shit seriously but I do we gotta teach our kids another way the only way show them pride Therefore, they will walk in that light because they do whatever we do. They are whatever we are. And right now, all I see is a bunch of scared ass coons trying to get under certain banners and debate uh, stupid ass ideologies of what happened a thousand years ago like that fucking matters right now. Can we debate after we win? Anybody want to do that? No? No? We gotta show our kids another way. And even if your ideology isn't like mine, then we can still work together because we're suffering under the same fate. That's what everybody else do. That's what everybody else raised to do. We're not raising ours to do that. So we'll continue to fail. And there's nothing divine about that. That's us making that choice every day to still be the same. Sucking celebrity dick or eating celebrity pussy on a daily basis. Staying divided. Worried about them. When they ain't even unified. You can't follow them because they're not unified. Doesn't make any sense. But that's all the fuck I wanted to say, man. I wanted to come address that Israelite and any of you motherfucking religious people that are going to get in my goddamn uh, message box and tell me what I'm saying is wrong or it ain't right or you, you don't know what you're talking about, God this and, and this scripture there and this scripture there. Fuck all of that shit. And fuck you for still believing in that shit when it's very clear what we have to do out here. It's been shown to you. But that's all the fuck I want to say. Y'all like, share, subscribe. Links to follow me on social media in the description box. Comment if you feel need to comment. Shout out Team Rob. Y'all already know what the fuck it is. I'm out.